A navigation bar is a graphical user interface element that typically appears at the top of the web page or application. So, let's just use four elements in our navigation bar, which will be our home, about, blog, contacts. Or you can add more elements as per your design. To duplicate the text, you can do Ctrl plus D or you can press Ctrl plus C plus V. First of all, just randomly align the text in a line. Now copy all the text and add auto layout to it, which will systematically create spacing in between our components or elements. To add auto layout, press Shift plus on your keyboard which will create a frame around the text. Now I'm gonna change its name to Navigation Menu. Let's just change its values to 35, which will be our horizontal gap between items. And also change its horizontal and vertical padding to 10 and 6. Now add fill as per your design. Here I have taken white color fill. Change the corner radius to 30. I'm little bit changing its text color to light gray, as you could have seen in various websites. For instances, I am making these texts to dark blue. Now I will add this shape at bottom of the text. As you can see here that the shape which we want to put it in the bottom of the text, which is unable to align at the, the bottom, rather it's preferred to align at the side of the text, which we don't want at all. So what we will gonna do is just quickly copy the home text and shape and add another auto layout to it. Then go to auto layout panel then click the down arrow button and change the vertical space between element to zero. Now you add component to your frame. As I have said you in the previous video that component is just a reusable asset. So you make it once and then you can reuse it multiple times and if anything changes in that main component it will trickle down to all of its instances. After adding the variant to your main component, arrange the text according to our usable instances. In our case, we will add for variant. Just real quick arrange the texts. To make it interactive button, we will prototype it. Select those all uncolored text and put it as. Unclick, then make instant to dissolve and also change. Ease into ease in and out.
I am just real quick making some changes to it. And now make a frame. Go to Asset and grab that component to your background. Click the frame. Then click on Prototype. And add Flow Starting Point to it. Click on the Flow one. Blue button. Finally, this is our animated usable, clickable navigation bar. Second design will be our Sidebar Concept Navigation. A sidebar navigation is another common user interface element used to organize and navigate through different sections or features of a website or application. Unlike navbar, it resides on the left or right side of the page. To create sidebar navigation, we will just quickly grab some icons from Iconify, which you will find at the plugin page. If you don't have that, you can you can install it from Figma's community page. Here I'm using only five icons. which is our home, profile, activity, settings, and support. This is the Iconify interface looks like from where you can find a vast library of icons covering different categories and styles. You can also able to change the color of the icons according to the need of your design. Change the size of the icons, which all look similar in size. I am making it size to 24, both the width and the length. Align all of them in a single vertical line. I am renaming its frame name as per the given icons. Copy all the icons and add auto layout to it. Vertical gap between elements to 11. Horizontal padding will be 18 and vertical will be 30. Screw
I'm changing its frame name to Icons. I have added white fill here. Now add component to the frame. Now I am making some changes to the padding. I align these icons horizontal because I feel it's easier for me to design. You can also do it in a vertical way. No problem in it. Add variants and fill the icons to make it interactive. Change the home icon color to light blue, which will be act as our instances. Similarly, you add variants and make changes to the color of your icon systematically as well. First section will be our home. Second section will be our profile. Third section will be our activity. Fourth section will be our settings. Fifth section will be our support. Okay, it's done. I'm changing its properties name and also the values. You can see the changes that we are doing in the right side bar will be reflected on the left side layers bar. Similarly here also, you have to prototype it to make it interactive. The interaction will be on while hovering, similar to the navbar prototype. You have to just simply click on the individual icon and change on click to while hovering, an instant to smart animate. No need to make changes to the colored icons, which will be our instances or you can say interactive button.
I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for it's the done. mentally weak no mercy, all I got is working. Never now I'd frame searching. to the background. Never quite the first I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a voice so erotic and chaotic. Go to last with the webs I'm waiting. I could change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. Here I am closing all the arrows, so that it will become easier for me to copy all the elements inside the component. Here I added vertical layout to it, because I want to make them align in the vertical direction. Go to assets and grab that components to your frame. This is our final output, which is interactive sidebar concept navigation.